I have a very close relationship with coffee. To me, it's almost like a religion. to the top coffee shops in New York City. However, I end up realizing that these top coffee shops in New York City are like really special and they have amazing coffee. Especially if you're a coffee lover, it'll blow your mind. But they're not really that special when you go into it. So today, I want to take you to the most unique, weirdest, outlandish coffee shops in all of New York City with my friend Youssef over here. And What's Youssef, up? Uh, what do you what do you think about coffee? What's your relationship? With I just it? love drinking it 24 7 That's exactly why I'm taking you here because you don't really drink that crazy coffee shop drinks. No, not at all So you're in for a treat. I'm excited. Going, I'm scared But I'm excited. Get ready. To, all right to drop an egg into our coffee. Oh my god <laughs> Our first stop though, you gotta wait for that because our first stop is over here at High Collar. And High Collar is like a traditional Japanese style coffee shop. I'm really excited for it because they have siphon coffee what is siphon coffee? Let's go. The jazz is playing a huge menu selection of coffees from all around the world. And my favorite, the siphon coffee, which looks straight out of a chemistry set. It's vacuum pressed coffee. And the cool thing is it makes the coffee almost feel like a tea. And ooh, I really love it. Next up is the Japanese iced coffee. Since it's brewed hot over ice, it still retains all the acidity, as opposed to drinking cold brew, which tastes much lighter. Oh, I highly recommend the hot cakes. They're nice, fluffy, and soft. Great way to accompany a coffee, especially during brunch time. Followed by the pork katsu sandwich, which is a classic Japanese sandwich. What's up, what did you think? It was amazing. It was amazing, yeah, right? Everything was so good. And those hotcakes? Oh my god, they're amazing. Like really good. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to come back again actually. Right at the Bowery at Round K, which is a Japanese style Korean owned coffee shop, which has the craziest drinks you'll ever see. Let's go. What you say about you and Annie Mae? Living in the dark? This is the matte black latte. It has the round K hell blend, which is actually they roast their own coffee inside the shop here in Manhattan. 98% uh, cacao, which is pure cacao, and some almond milk for a very, very black drink that almost looks like a black hole in a cup. Let's try it out. Mm. I like it. It tastes like it. It's interesting. It tastes like you can taste the chocolatiness of it all. This looks disgusting almost. It's almost like a pudding. <laughs> and that's why I'm taking you here yeah, like, for this journey. This is next level. <laughs> I, like, I, I actually. I'm, a, I'm afraid to actually try it out right now, but right. yeah, let's see. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Wow. It's actually very good. <laughs> this is actually very good. It tastes like ice cream, right? Yeah. yeah. And can you taste the chocolate? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. It's like a dark chocolate mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Well, it's so dark that it matches with your black shirt, Yo, black sweater. <laughs> and have you tried the whipped cream yet? No, not yet. Yeah, try the whipped right. cream. Where is it? Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. So good, right? It's like you taste the, 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 the like the, the texture of the chocolate mm -hmm. where it's like yeah. kind of grainy. Yeah. Mm. This is amazing. Holy shit. This is very similar to another great dessert I really love. It's called the blackout cake mm. in Ovenly. And it's just as black as this. It's crazy, right? Yeah. Oh, it looks. But I am allergic to almond milk. <laughs> and this is making my throat itch. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Right? So I'm looking forward now to try the egg cappuccino. <laughs> Let's try this out. All right, so here is the egg cappuccino. This egg on coffee, mixed together. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. So I'm actually a fan of butter coffee. 
Butter coffee is great if you want to get that caffeine high for hours because butter binds better. The coffee, the caffeine binds better to butter than it does to milk. This actually tastes very similar to butter coffee. So it's a lot more creamier than, than, um, than say, a, a regular cappuccino. We're going to compare this soon with some Vietnamese coffee. Mm. I dig it. It's amazing. Mm. All right. Yeah. With eggs. Yeah. With, with eggs. eggs. All right. All right. This was so, actually good, even though it was disgusting. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this one. No, this definitely looks way better. And yeah. But um, yeah. Egg. Seriously. <laughs> egg on the coffee. So you have your breakfast and your coffee at the same time. It's good. <laughs> it passes. Right? Does it? You can't. If you, if I didn't tell you it had egg yeah. in it, you can't tell the difference. Yeah. I would just. I see it more as like a good cream, you know. Good cream, yeah. 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 It's really good. Like you can you can't really tell the difference at all. Like it, it tastes almost the same exact thing. It tastes like a like half and half rather than than regular milk. Yeah. But I love the the cocoa pow powder that they put on it. It tastes like a really like good classic cappuccino. Which one's your favorite though? <clears throat> If I weren't allergic to almond milk and I could replace this with another milk, which they don't do unfortunately, uh, it would be this one. But get itchy throat, so I, I like this one. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> now let's go to the border of Chinatown and Little Italy to go to the quintessential hole in the wall coffee shop. It's super unsuspecting, but you might be able to find the best Vietnamese or Thai style iced coffee here at Kham Hing Coffee Shop. Let's go. We are right now in a Vietnamese coffee shop, about to have Vietnamese or Thai iced coffee. We're gonna see which one we're gonna get, but uh, it's very special because it's made, it's probably one of the heaviest iced coffees you'll ever have. And I love the atmosphere of the place also. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's so cool, it feels like, uh, I don't feel like I'm in New York anymore. <laughs> Ariel, I'm still surprised with that location that you choose. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would never ever in my whole motherfucking life to come here. Like, I would never find this place. <laughs> because it looks like a place like only for the locals yeah, I mean, of Chinatown. It's like all locals, I mean, 99% yeah. like locals yeah. here. And but it's cool because it's, it's not, it seems like a lot of people from all around New York yeah, come. Yeah. Like, they gave us great service, oh, despite yeah. the, the yeah. signs. Yeah. <laughs> The signs are crazy. Like you feel like you're definitely not going to come here, but they were super friendly. <laughs> right. yeah. It was weird. I was yeah. expecting like like yeah. curt service. Yeah. I, I thought first, oh god, these are real New Yorkers. Yeah. They're mean, <laughs> but they were actually very nice. But yeah. And let's the cool thing in. is that they have uh, pork buns, they have coffee, and they have sponge cake. So all together at the same time. So, yeah. yeah. All right, let's film with this. Definitely a different place than where we went. Uh, the last place that we went to was definitely a different type of coffee restaurant. And now we are here. Like you see what type of different type of most unique spots we can hit. I mean, that's that's what we're aiming for for this video, because you can go to all these other classic coffee shops, which I did a video on. Yeah, uh, you can check it out. Like you can go to your Stumptowns, your Starbucks, all your classic coffee places. But. Here we're going off the beaten path. Yeah, and here's 100%. <laughs> right now is really off the beaten yeah. path. Yeah, I'm right now surprised. <laughs> I'm like shocked, but I'm excited to drink this. <laughs> so we got ourselves a Thai iced coffee. Now Thai iced coffee is condensed milk coffee, iced coffee, and also cardamom. Different from Vietnamese co iced coffee, which doesn't have the cardamom or any type of spices. Let's try it out. Uh, I'm excited for it because I usually don't have coffee with such a heavy milk. I usually don't drink coffee with milk at all. So let's try it out. Oh wow. So I love it. It almost tastes like a Thai iced tea. You get that spicy quality to it. 
And with the condensed milk, it's actually super crazy sweet. This is something you do not want to eat on the drink on a daily basis because you might get uh, very sugared up. <laughs> and they have pork buns. Let's try it out. So the pork buns. I'm a huge fan of pork buns. Anytime I see pork buns in New York City, I gotta try one. So let's try this out. Mm. Nice, soft, fresh, very warm. I really dig it. It's really good. It's really good. It combines well with the iced coffee. And they claim to have the best sponge cake in town. So here is a green tea sponge cake. Let's try it out. Wow. This is good. Mmm. Super spongy. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go crazy. I hope you don't mind yourself. No, it's good. Let's try this out. This is like New York style with the donut. Oh yeah. Except sponge, this is New York style, Vietnamese style. <laughs> New York <laughs> Vietnamese style. <laughs> so instead of a donut and hot coffee, we're doing a sponge cake and the Thai iced coffee. Mmm. Oh, wow. Okay. You gotta come to this place. It's really cool. Just like I mentioned that uh, coffee became super popular in Japan after World War II. Same thing with Vietnam. Coffee started coming because of the French. And after World War II especially, coffee really took off in Vietnam and in Thailand. And the reason they do iced coffee is because Vietnam is super hot, super warm. So you don't want to drink a very hot coffee all the time. That's why they started making iced coffee. But why condensed milk? Well, it's because there's barely any dairy farms in all of Southeast Asia. So the only way they had access to milk was through condensed milk, which is mil uh, condensed milk with sugar packed into a can. So it's a very heavy, sugary milk drink. And that's how you get your Thai iced coffee slash Vietnamese iced coffee. All right, let me try this out. Oh my God, it's so sweet. I didn't expect that. Have you tried it before? No, that's yeah. the first time. Do you usually drink your coffee with milk? Just a little bit of milk and no sugar. This is next level milk and sugar. The only time that I use sugar is actually when I drink tea, mm -hmm. but with coffee without uh, sugar at all. Mm. Um, wow, this is too much for me. You can't, that's, that's very... It tastes like a dessert, it's almost like yeah. a frappuccino. Like, I like it because it almost tastes like a frappuccino, except with all the extra... It tastes like a frappuccino, but you still taste the coffee. It, it reminds me on... Um, I mean, it's a very stupid example, but when I came the first time to, to New York yeah. and I went to Dunkin' Donuts, because in California you don't have Dunkin' Donuts. Like, I'd never been to Dunkin' Donuts in California. So when I came to New York, everyone is going to Dunkin' Donuts, the New Yorkers. So my friend brought me to Dunkin' Donuts yeah. and I said, yeah, coffee. And I put sugar in it and this is how it tastes like. So I don't have a good... <laughs> I mean, it's too, too, too. I know what you mean. It does taste like a. It has a similar style to the Dunkin' Donuts coffee, but I think it's a little bit better. Like you get, you get more of a stronger coffee taste from it's it. It's way stronger because the coffee that they're using is probably like super dark brewed coffee, but good quality because it comes from Southeast Asia. But let me try this one. Yeah. Oh, this is actually nice. So texture. that's a sponge cake. Such a nice texture. Let's be see. Yeah, this is neutral. It's not too sweet. Yeah, um, this is actually nice. It's very nice. It's very mm -hmm. soft and chewy. It's beautiful. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of uh, French times, Paris times. But it's really nice. Again, that French connection right there. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> oui. <laughs> Do you want to try the dip or? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. You're like, I'm good. <laughs> This is too sweet for me, sorry. <laughs> I guess I'm drinking the rest of this. Yes. <laughs> and I'll, I usually don't drink coffee with milk or sugar, uh, but I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of falling in love with this. It's without almond milk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at least, yeah so no at, least, itching. at least no itching. But I, I don't know, it feels, it feels like very uh, cozy, very kind of um, 
I feel like I'm on a tropical beach. This yeah. will be actually go perfect in the summer times. In the summer when it's like very humid out there, mm -hmm. you know, then actually will actually go very well. Exactly. But um, yeah, I think so. I just didn't expect that. You know, it's gonna be that, that sweet. <laughs> it's very sweet. So if you like your sweet coffee, you like your frappuccinos, your Dunkin' Donuts, come here. I think it's a little bit of a step up of, of those places. Yeah. 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 So I'm back home, very overly caffeinated. Thank you so much, Yusef, for joining me on this adventure. And thank you, everyone, so much for watching this list of the top three most unique coffee shops in Manhattan. If you find any other unique coffee shops, let me know down in the comments. And also check out my previous video that I covered the best overall five coffee shops because these were more of the stranger unique picks. But if you like your coffee black or you like your regular lattes, check out my other video. Thank you so much for watching, keep being awesome, and always keep on exploring. Ariel, what the heck is going on? Uh, I am drinking the rest because of... <laughs> I love all the milk <laughs> all and milk. sugar. It looks like it's so good to, Too much. to drink all this <laughs> calories. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really good. It's really good. <laughs>